Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I am Vetramat. I uh, hope you enjoy this video. Let's get to what was real today. So, uh, a couple hours ago, at this point in time recording, um, Rick Cosnett, who played Eddie Thawn on The Flash in season one, season reg or series regular for season one, came back in season three, I think it was 319 into the Speed Force. Um, he is coming back for season eight of The Flash. He confirmed that earlier today. TV Line also doubled that, saying what his role will be and what episode he will be in. Well, kind of. What the episode will be like. Not the exact episode, but the episode, what it'll be like. Um, he's not coming back as Cobalt Blue, which is, I know, what everyone was expecting when we heard that he was coming back to The Flash. We want him to be Cobalt Blue. He won't be. Um, he'll be playing Eddie Thawn. From the past. <laughs> He'll be in a flashback episode. Um, which is kind of interesting that it said flashback. Which kind of makes me wonder. Does this isn't going to include time travel. Right? So. I'm assuming because Eddie's there. He must have said something in season one. That's connected to now. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, another thing I would. You know. Want to say. This is after the Armageddon crossover, so they're on episode 6 right now, so I would assume it's in episode 6 or episode 7. Um, another thing is that John Wesley's ship will be coming back, I think, around now, so maybe we'll get Henry back <laughs> for a flashback. I mean, this would be a time where Henry's alive, right? So... I wouldn't mind if we got a flashback with Henry Allen. <laughs> just, I mean, we're bringing Eddie Thon back. We're bringing, you know, why not, Henry? Um, that's just what's going through my head. But, um, you know, I know a lot of people are disappointed that it's not Cobalt Blue. I wasn't getting my hopes up for it. But I think what we can 100% confirm now is that Cobalt Blue is not the main villain of season 8. And it's more than definitely Red Death. <laughs> um, I think that's definitely fair to say. Because of the fact that we... The definition, I, I've done a full video over this, literally is testing Team Flash to the like mortality, personality, and pushing them to the limits. It's either Red Death or Cobalt Blue. And Cobalt Blue's out of the picture. I'm sorry, but if you can't admit that right now, that's your own damn fault. It, Cobalt Blue is not going to be season 8. Eddie Thawne will be in season 8, but it's not Cobalt Blue. So, and it's in the flashback episode. So it's going to have some connection to the main villain, which honestly would fit right death. I don't know how, <laughs> but I think the better option we're looking at is somehow, some way, Eddie Thawne said something relating to stopping the main big bad in season 8, after the crossover, and he helped in that way. I don't know. I, you know, that that's just my best guess. Unless it's not gonna have any connection to story at all, and it's gonna be connected to Iris and Barry, or just Iris herself. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's gonna be an interesting episode, but yeah. So again, Flash comes back November seven sixteenth. 16th, not 17th, 16th, <laughs> Tuesday, November 16th, at its regular time, um, coming back with the five-part Armageddon crossover, which will take place through December 14th, and if I remember correctly, they're going on a Christmas break this year, because they didn't last year, um, give the actors a break, and they'll probably come back in January 2022, um, which is crazy that we're Literally three months away from that, but <laughs> a little crazy. Um, but yeah, so we'll be coming back to the Flash in January 2022, I'd expect, with episode six. I don't think they're going to do it before they go on the break. Um, Christmas breaks are normally a month long for the show, so it, it seems around there. Again, I'm pretty sure Eric Watts did go on Christmas break this year. I could be wrong, but that's what I heard. If I'm wrong, then correct me in the comments. <laughs> um, but I'm pretty sure they're going on a break this year. Um, also, news broke over the weekend that there will be, in fact, 18 episodes of season 8. 
I did a full video saying there was 23 because I thought the source was reliable. I was wrong. And I made that public on my Air Force Discord server, Twitter, Discord, apologizing for it. Um, so might as well say here, I was wrong. I am sorry. I won't try not to do that again. <laughs> I'll actually try to... Because several sources were reporting on it. So I instantly thought, okay, this is legit. <laughs> And the source that I really did trust reported on it, so I don't know. But, yeah, so uh, DC, not DC, WB and CW uh, re uh, revealed that there will be 18 episodes in season 8. Um, so 18 minus 5 is 13, so we have 13 episodes to fit in two story arcs. Um, two main story arcs. So if we get interlude part 2 this season... Um, that's going to be something, because <laughs> we're going to have, like, what? I don't even know how many. We're going to have 13 episodes in total for two story arcs, right? And to split that evenly, one story arc would need to be seven episodes, the other would be, have to be six. Six plus seven is 13. So if they really wanted to take a break... They could make each arc six episodes, have the crossover five, have the second story arc of season eight, six episodes, then quote unquote interlude part two as like, I don't even know what episode it'll be, and then come back with the last story arc for the last six episodes of the season. That would be nice, I guess, to take a little break from the main story plots here. If they really want to split it evenly, they could do that, but... I mean, what else could they possibly do? I I don't entirely know. <laughs> but I, I do think this season is going to be good. I was hoping this season would be 23 episodes. But at the same time, the more and more I think about it, I know a lot of you are upset right now because of the episode count, with it being 18, and with Eddie, with, um, Eddie coming back, but him not being Cobalt Blue, and him only coming back for one episode. I know a lot of you are pissed off right now, but I think this is a good thing for so many reasons. I mean, for stars, the episode count, let's talk about that for a minute. If it was 23, we'd be looking at a repeat season 7, where we had one story arc, a five-episode interlude, and then four episodes with a story arc. That's not a good season. Let's be real here. The four storyline was crap. And then we had the interlude, which really just ruined the season. And then the Godspeed arc only lasted four episodes. Because we're getting this crossover, think of the in the interlude as this crossover. I'm not saying it's going to be filler episodes. It won't be. It's going to be action-packed with max. But because we're getting this five-part crossover, we might only get one filler episode this season out of that crossover, which will be between... The second story arc and the third story arc of the season. The first being the crossover and then the two after. Again, like I just said, if they want to max it out evenly for the two story arcs, have six episodes each season, you can put in one interlude, make it interlude part two. There you go. That's how you make the season good. Because I, I do think we need a filler in between the two story arcs so we aren't finishing one story arc and going flat out right into another. That's not going to work. If they had a crossover like they did for any other season, in the middle of it, great, it work. But we are looking at the crossover being the beginning of the season, and then a second story arc, and then what, going right into a third? I don't, it, it I think having the interlude season 7 did work, but it was too many episodes. They could have easily taken out that Cisco goodbye episode, put it in the fourth storyline, uh, <sighs> Have 714 be the interlude. I mean, make the Godspeed arc longer. I mean, that very well could have worked. And, you know, I, I think that's how they should do it. And because of the fact that, again, like I said, the Armageddon crossover five parts and begin the season, we might even get just one episode of an interlude instead of, like, five. <laughs> Which is, again, what that crossover basically is, is an interlude, except it's actually going to be non-filler episodes. It's going to be a legit crossover with action-packed scenes and really good scenes that this show's ever had. So, I think that's something everyone needs to keep in mind here, 
instead of being like, oh, it's not 23, this season's going to be crap, or any thoughts coming back, but it's not Cobalt Blue, this season's going to be crap. It's not out yet. And I know Season 7 lost a lot of your interest in the show, but just from what we've seen from the Armageddon crossover, if you're not hyped up for the season, I don't know what's wrong with you, but you need to fix it. <laughs> that is the almost truth. That There is no possible way that if you haven't seen the show in a long time, that you won't come back and enjoy this season, or at least a crossover. You're going to, if you haven't seen the show in a while. Even if you've been watching the show since the pilot, or season 3, or season 2, or early on, and you stuck through season 7, you're going to love season 8, at least the crossover. I, I cannot tell you you're not going to. Just from what we've seen, I truly believe you're going to love this crossover. Everyone. Everyone who's been a fan of Flash since the beginning, even if you just started watching... You're going to enjoy season 8. I don't see how you possibly can't. At least a crossover. Maybe the first story arc. But, yeah. So that's everything I want to go over in the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit the like button down below. Sky for new. Turn notifications on. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.